Deacon Sarah here with a scripture share for you. Today is Monday, Thursday. It's part of um, our Holy Week Remembrance um, leading up to the celebration of Easter. Um, if you are around this week and want to check out some of the offerings that we have at the Birmingham campus, um, go to fumcbirmingham.org and check out all of the offerings that we have for Holy Week. Um, a couple uh, really awesome events. Friday we're doing a Stations of the Cross event where our uh, friend Betsy Stubbs will be doing some live art and then also um, on Saturday, Saturday morning we're doing an Easter egg hunt where you can get some volunteer hours in and Saturday evening there will be just a rockin' awesome gospel concert in our parking lot. And then we, we of course hope to see you um, worshiping either online if you're away or in person on Easter Sunday. Um, indeed Christ is risen know that the promise of the resurrection is, is with us. So today um, I bring you a scripture passage from Luke 22, 31. And um, this is uh, chapter 22 is where we see Jesus last suffer. Um, so again, Luke 22. And um, I'm actually going to start with verse 14. And it says, when the hour came, Jesus and his disciples reclined at the table, and he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes took the bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Every time we take communion together, we say these words, um, and I think it's important to remember that these words that, that we say during the Eucharist or during Holy Communion are Jesus' words. Take this bread and remember me. We are also called to be part of the body of Christ. We are called to care for one another, to care for the least and the lost, and those who are outcast. So this Holy Week, especially today, Monday, Thursday, I would just encourage you to um, think about how you are part of the body of Christ and how God is calling you um, to live into what it means to be part of that body. Until we see you again, and hopefully this week during Holy Week, we'll see you at some point. Stay safe and stay healthy.